Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressa channel. There is some more drama brewing between Monique and Lee Daniels. If you haven't heard about this story, earlier this week, Lee Daniels was confronted by Damon Dash for not paying him the money he owed him. If you don't know, Damon Dash gave Lee Daniels a $2 million loan before his career flourished. And since then, Lee Daniels has been able to produce movies like The Butler, Precious, and also hit shows like Empire and Star. But Lee Daniels never gave Damon Dash his money back. Until now, now he's forced to give Damon Dash his money back because Damon Dash has made it known to the public that Lee Daniels has the tendency to use people and not pay them what they deserve. Now actress and comedian Monique came out and she felt somewhat redeemed because people finally started believing her when she talked about how Lee Daniels treated her. Now I'm going to give a brief backstory. Monique agreed to do a film that Lee Daniels made called Precious and she was only paid $50,000 for her role in the film. Little did they know Precious would become a big success in theaters. Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey were executive producers of the film so they were financially backing the film and the film became a big success and Monique won an Oscar. Now here was the issue. Tyler Perry, Oprah, and Lee Daniels were pressuring Monique to do promotions for the movie. However, Monique did not want to promote the movie because she was only paid $50,000 and she felt like she shouldn't have to be forced to promote the movie for free. And from my understanding, she was not contractually obligated to promote the film. So if she had to promote it, it would make sense for her to get paid a little bit more. So Monique, she wanted to be compensated a little bit more for her role in the film. Even though she initially did the film as a favor to Lee Daniels, because just like Damon Dash, Monique believed in Lee Daniels and she was just trying to help her friend out. But it ended up backfiring when Monique refused to promote the movie. Some words were whispered around in Hollywood. People were saying that she was difficult to work with. And since then, she hasn't been able to get any major roles in Hollywood, even though she won an Oscar. Last year, during her comedy special, Monique went off on Lee Daniels, Oprah, and Tyler Perry and accused them of blackballing her. Since then, Monique has been exposing Tyler, Lee Daniels, and Oprah on her Periscope show with her husband, I mean her daddy, and it has stirred up a lot of publicity. Lee Daniels finally responded to the claims that Monique made against him. He did a sit down interview with TMZ and he told Monique to shut up. Monique, uh, I fought hard for her to get that job. I wanted her to get that job and um, she was paid her money. She's paid the money for the budget that we had. It ain't even worth the conversation. I like she needs to shut up. Monique did respond to Lee Daniels and this is what she said. Hey my loves, so I gotta address this $10 million Netflix deal. What's a word that rhymes with jokes or starts with an H? Y'all got it, it's a goddamn hoax. That is not true, my babies. Now just like that line can become the truth within 24 hours, just like they can make something like that up, they can make something up like the girl is difficult and demanding. So this is what I'll say to y'all. The truth only goes away if we stop talking. And y'all know I ain't gonna stop talking. And Lee Daniels, you shut up. <laughs> Now, I can understand why Lee Daniels was frustrated with Monique because Monique was exposing him. However, I can understand why Monique was upset with Lee Daniels because she felt like he, in some way, helped get her blackballed from Hollywood. In Hollywood, people have the tendency to spread rumors about people if they feel like they're not quote unquote going along with the program. So Monique had the reputation of being difficult when she did not promote Precious and when she demanded more for herself. And I totally understand Monique's grievance and I know she kind of lost a lot and that's partly due to the fact that her husband is not really negotiating smartly on her behalf, but that's a whole nother story. She lost a lot for taking up for herself and I totally understand where she's coming from. She's trying to save her name right now because she has had a reputation of being difficult to work with in the industry. So she's desperately trying to save her name. As a matter of fact, 
she leaked a phone call that she had with Tyler Perry last year and Tyler Perry was agreeing with her. He was agreeing with the fact that she was wronged and he was even kind enough to offer her some of the residuals from Precious. I'm talking to Medea right now. Medea, I need you to pull Tyler's ass in the back and say, baby, you watching this sister and you watching her family starve. You're watching it. And you're saying, what do you want me to do? Listen, don't you play with that baby like that. You know this shit y'all did was wrong to her. You gave charity, you gave them four hundred to five hundred thousand dollars to charity, and you know that bitch got fifty thousand dollars. Where's my pistol, Brown? Me. What you gonna do? I'm gonna call and find out what whatever money is coming in from Precious, and I'm gonna send it to you. I'm gonna send it over to you. Whatever it is, I'm sending it to you. Well, let me let me let me say this. Let me say this, and I want to talk again. I'm going to write you a check on it, seriously, because, no, no, hear me, hear me, because this is the thing about this. Is, and, and when we start talking about this one doing this and this one doing that, 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 and black people doing this and black people doing that, what we need to understand about that is this. Where we are right now and what we're trying to do, we, we, we got some opportunities that a lot of most people didn't have. So what, what I don't want you to feel one day, not one day, is that you were mistreated or that you were treated unfairly. Now, if that means that, that I, I, if that's what I need to do, then, then, then you, you do that. You do that. You take that and, you, and, 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 and take it from a place of love. Like that. Can you do me a favor? Can you, since you called up to have a real conversation, typically I, I know you used to directing, but what I need you to do is just hear me out man to man. And that is this. How would you feel if someone says something about you that was that you were not contractually obligated to do? What would you want them to do to make that right? And it don't have nothing to do with money. If somebody had said that, let's, let me just try to be in the position. If somebody had come along and said, Tyler's difficult, he's terrible to work with, he's not going to do anything that you want him to do. He's, he's, he, he, if they said all those things, right? If that's what the rumor was, and 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 there were other people who knew that would not was not to be true. I would want those people to stand up and say that's not true. So, will you and Oprah do that? I can't speak for Oprah. I can't speak for. Will Oprah. you do that? It's my experience. I, I, I certainly can. I, I I've never worked with Monique. All I can speak for is my experience on pressure. You at you told David. When he said his experience was wonderful, you said that was not your experience. And the question I would have, what did you experience with Monique and or I that made your uh, your interaction with us displeasurable? Especially- I see, exactly where you're going. I, see, I see exactly where you're going. What made my interaction displeasurable is to have to, to try to navigate between Precious, Lee, Monique not wanting to do any, any national press without getting paid, having to navigate through all of that, that's where my problem was. But, but Tyler, that's, but, that's but Tyler, though, man. I'm done. but Tyler, this is where we are, though. Well, he, he, here's the thing. You said, he, he, change early. you said you don't want any chump change. Does that mean you do not want the money for pressures or what? Wait, 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 but wait a minute, Tyler. And when you say chump change, here's the thing, baby. See, the community is involved right now. You know it and I know it. And everybody out there know it. The community is involved and they want to see how it's going to play out because the community is saying, wait a minute, y'all. Hold up. We don't know this sister to be no bullshit. We know she a loud mouth. We know she will say some shit off the wall. But what we know about it is she true to a word. And all I would ask you is one, qu two questions. The first question is, did you not just say it was wrong? Tyler. Did you not just say it was wrong, Tyler, to say she was difficult for not doing something that she was not contractually obligated to do? Did you not say that you would feel that that was wrong? Or, or am I missing something? I, abs I, 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 I absolutely said that. I have to give Tyler Perry props because he is truly a stand-up guy for at least calling and having a conversation with Monique and her husband to settle out any differences. Monique and her husband Sydney faced a lot of backlash for leaking this phone call, but they explained why they did it. You're releasing this tape of Tyler Perry thinking he's talking to two individuals in a confidential manner. Do you believe this will cause even more backlash from Tyler Perry? 
If it does, Rashad, then so be it. Because putting this tape out, well, when the women hear this black man saying this black woman did nothing wrong, it's up to the community at this point. See, I can't worry about the backlash from Tyler Perry because I've already received it based off of a lie. So again, when you say backlash, and I've had people hear people say, oh, Monique really put the nail in the coffin. Oh, Monique, if that is the case, then so be it. But because I really dig and I love our community, I feel like I am obligated to say, listen, this is what goes on behind the closed doors. And we have to play it because you were given the opportunity to fix it. And though this was a private conversation, it was going to be, based upon his promise, a public conversation. So we are not providing anyone with anything that he did not state that he was going to already say to the world. And this, in fact, was what you will call our insurance policy. We believe them. When you give a person a year to say something, what your intent was, this was that opportunity to do so. We love the brother, as we said before on the audio. Love Oprah. Like, they should be applauded for all that they have done. But sometimes you've got to love people enough to stand up to them so that one day you can potentially stand together. Come on. Whew. Anyway, this whole story is something else. Tell me what you all think about this down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.